I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Anthony Martin, co-founder and business development lead at the Hermes Network. Anthony, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here. Hey, hello. Nice I'd to love you. to, yeah, thank you for being here. I'd love to kick off the interview just by first explaining what is the Hermes Network, what exactly does your platform do and how does it benefit the Ethereum and blockchain ecosystem? Yes, in, in the last times, I mean, we, we have seen that if we want to escalate, especially on Ethereum, uh, well, two years ago, maybe they, there were some, some side chains. There have been a lot of ten tentatives to try to escalate. But at the end, especially in the last year, we have realized that one of the ways is with the, with the roll-ups, that is the creation of a layer two on top of layer one, that is Ethereum. Okay? Mm -hmm. Regarding this, I mean, there have been different uh, developments and our one in Hermes is based on, on zero knowledge proof. This is what is allowing us to, to increase the scalability. Our data is kept on chain and, and this is what it makes us a little bit different from the others. And also, uh, which is what is the calculation, it's on chain, it's off chain, although the data is safety on the chain of, of, of Ethereum. That's, that's the main difference, and, and we are part of this wave of roll-ups that now are popping up almost in, in, in a lot of different places. No? Mm -hmm. That's great. So Hermes has developed a solution mm -hmm. to solve the Ethereum scalability, and especially throughout 2020 as this decentralized finance movement had at one point caused Ethereum transaction fees to be 40 or $50 per transaction. You know, and you really need to have that in the sense or in the micro sense. Um, so that's a huge problem to solve. But your platform doesn't solve Ethereum on the protocol layer. Obviously, you can't mess with the Ethereum network. It's, it's a layer two solution. So how can you at some way pinpoint what is the exact problem and how, where does the transactions on Ethereum move over to Hermes to solve the scalability? Yes. I mean, what we have seen is that, uh, I mean, when we started, I mean, our company has been live for two years and, and it was mainly focused on, on identity. I mean, but what we have seen is that at a certain point, scalability was, was required. And with this in mind, we started to to develop a solution for scalability based on zero knowledge proof that we were already using for privacy, for for the centralization. I mean, it's it's like a continuum. Mm -hmm. Then at a certain point, we were, we realized that we had a, a solution for plain vanilla transactions in order to escalate. Why? Because we were able to perform 2,000 transactions per second. Okay, and uh, okay, we as as nobody yet, but. I mean, or it's it's a still in development, but nobody can perform smart contracts on this layer two. But at least we were able to to perform plain vanilla transactions as a transfer of tie or tether, ether, whatever. Then uh, these are almost 60, 70 percent of the transactions that nowadays are creating this congestion in the network. Then mm -hmm. what we pretend is to upload these simple vanilla transactions on the layer two, and then this is what will help to to reduce the price of the gas, and that layer one is kept or it's only used for smart contracts uh, transactions, we can say. Mm -hmm. Great, and you mentioned that part of the technology that solves this is the ZK roll-ups and zero-knowledge proofs, and you know there are a lot of people who have heard of zero knowledge proofs, but don't really understand what that means. And you know, from a basic uh, understanding, having no, um, you can have, you can prove something without having to provide your identity for, for one example in zero knowledge proofs. But you mentioned zero knowledge rollups. Can you talk a little bit about what that means to somebody who's just an Ethereum user sending a transaction? Yes, exactly. I mean, at, at the end, what what the zero knowledge rollups allow us is is to create like a Merkle tree. With this, what we can do is we can gather a lot of transactions, as I said, maybe two thousand. Then to keep only the, the very essential data or, or or the hash that is that is the, that is gathering these two thousand transactions, and then this can be this can be stored, this can be recorded in the L one. Uh, network, which is Ethereum. Then mm -hmm. mainly, it's it's helping to create this compression and it's helping to gather different transactions around. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Great. So, for example, if I was a Ethereum user and I was using MetaMask and I was using a decentralized exchange and having to pay those transaction fees, from uh, a transaction and a business perspective, is there more intensive labor and extra steps involved in integrating Hermes to make it faster? Or do I see something on the front end that takes extra steps? Or how does that actually work? Yeah, no, here the idea, obviously, I mean, and this is one of the problems of, of that we have on Ethereum and on blockchain is the user interface. No, I mean, mm -hmm. this is one of the main problems to, to not become mainstream. Then in order to avoid that, I mean, we are creating an interface and a wallet where uh, you will connect with your MetaMask. It's true that uh, to jump from layer one, that it's MetaMask, to layer two, that is that is um, Hermes Network, then you will need like another address. But what we, we have thought is uh, that, I mean, you, you don't need to remember the second address. I mean, it will be linked to your first MetaMask. And we are trying to avoid all these points of friction. Then for you, it will be, you will open your MetaMask or we will we want to integrate also with my either wallet. Also, you can use the Hermes wallet. And then you are not going to see any difference or it shouldn't create a bigger friction than the current one. Then mm -hmm. uh, answering mm -hmm. your question, no, this is not going to create an extra work for you. Mm -hmm. Good. And <clears throat> one of the uh, more prominent layer two networks in blockchain is you know the Lightning Network. And I've, I've heard a lot about it, but it doesn't... I ha I've seen that there isn't really a lot of adoption. You know, a lot of people are still seeming to use Bitcoin and Ethereum on the main network and, and not enough people are really moving over to these layer two networks to solve the scalability. Uh, is there a, an, a, a way that your team has worked it out so that you know, more people will start using it or make it so easy to use that it almost forces people to use it? Well, yeah. I, I, I think that you are pointing a very valid point, and is that, uh, I mean, that there is not adoption, and this is true. Then here in our case, we are trying uh, like two different approaches, okay? One is that, I don't know, for example, in our case, uh, we are using a, a Hermes network token because that will be the, the way how this network will be run. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's what it's like the blood of, of, of Hermes. and I, then you will be able to perform some some auctions to bid in order to be able to forge a, 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 a block. And then at the end, you will earn more or less money if you can extract more fees from the transactions and the difference with the, with the, with the auction that you are paying. Okay. But what happened with these fees that are paid in the auction? Is that uh, in our concept, what we tried is to help the community and we will give 40% to uh, community projects, which is the proof of donation, okay? Then maybe we can come back to that later, but with this, what we are trying to do is to engage the community, that the mm -hmm. community see that we are not only here to earn money. I mean, at the end, yes, we are there, but uh, we, are, we are hoping that Hermes Network at the end is decentralized, that is yeah. self-maintained. We always say that 30% of the rewards will go to the Hermes Network will be used to reward uh, the assets that are inside this this network. I mean, we, we need this use. We need adoption, as you were saying. And I think that, that you are right. And the second point that what we are facing or we, we are focusing our efforts is how we can create these transactions. Okay, And what we have seen is that nowadays the transactions are coming from the exchanges, mm -hmm. I mean, mainly. That's what it is, honestly. I mean, they, maybe they, they, because they are more more savvy users, maybe they are more used to that. Yeah. And then we are also uh, approaching the exchanges and we are offering them one incentive plan or, or we are exploring this option in order they onboard uh, themselves in Hermes Network and we can create this ecosystem where we will have the community and we will have the exchanges. And we hope that afterwards they just start the connections between them. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good approach. Yeah, I agree. Approaching the exchanges is the, one of the best ways to get adoption because they're processing so many transactions. And I did see that some of the major exchanges were starting to change their fee structure and pass on the fees on Ethereum when it did go up to fifty dollars because they were actually losing money because they initially had low fees set. Um, and you know, one of the top 
altcoin exchanges for volume right now is, is Binance. And Binance is also working on some scalability solutions for Ethereum with this Binance smart chain. Now, Hermes has the ZK rollups, which sounds like some unique uh, proprietary solution that maybe Binance doesn't have, but at the same time, they may have connections. And you did mention that it is getting competitive uh, to with all of these other platforms because it is a huge problem right now that needs to be solved. Do you see um, that what the technology stack that you have is unique enough and has a competitive advantage that it will gain adoption and be able to compete with things like Binance Smart Chain? Well, I, I, of course, I mean, I think that my solution is the best one, no? by definition, or, or I see a lot of advantages, as I told you at the beginning, because there is the, the SNARS, the Zika rollup, the privacy, the decentralization. Nevertheless, uh, our approach, we accept that we will, we, we should be able to live with another uh, chains, uh, rollups, whatever. I mean, also for, for example, in our case, we, we have integrated or, or one of of our aims is to integrate the massive migrations because at the end uh, without interconnectivity each one of us will be will be dead yeah. i mean I, I don't expect that we will be the winners and we'll have a monopoly maybe also honestly this is not what i'm looking for mm -hmm. what what we are doing here is to push the cutting edge technology i think as, as i said at the beginning which for me it's really good is that we, we are we are able to store that on chain we, we are totally decentralized I mean, there, are, there is not um, another, or, or, or at least there are not another uh, decentralized rollups in, in this sense. I mean, we are pushing really hard on that. I mean, the other projects that are, are moving forward, I have a huge respect for them. I mean, uh -huh. technically, they are all really good. And, and for me, our aim is to create this network effect, as I told you then. If Binance, they have their, their chain, which is good, but... I am able to attract them and to offer them a good solution in order they also onboard uh, the Hermes network. I have no problem that they are using the robot. I mean, that's that's clear. But what I need is as much, of course, uh, actors and stakeholders involved as possible. Because especially, for example, Binance and the centralized exchange, they have their own ledger. You know? Then uh -huh. there, it's not my space. But when, when Binance uh, transfer to Kraken, Kraken to Bitfinex, uh, whatever, then is when our, our network makes sense and it can save a lot of gas and it can create a very a smoothly process for the user. Mm -hmm, definitely. And you mentioned the decentralization part and you also mentioned previously that the Hermes token, the network token is, is launched. Um, can you talk, and that helps with the decentralization to get the community involved and get rewards for helping to contribute. Now, now you, you also mentioned that it's not actually live in terms of the product running with exchanges. Can you talk about where you're at right now and, and where you're planning to yes. be in the next six months? Of course. Uh, first of all, I mean, we, we have, I mean, this project was, was we, we, although we, we, we explored rollup for a lot of months, but when we decided to launch this network was end of June. I mean, we are really running. This is, this is a race. And, and what we have seen, what we are trying to do during this month is to explain uh, in a blog, we are explaining the concept, we are explaining this proof of donation. And then uh, in order now that we are approaching the exchanges and also some retail customers, they were asking, okay, Anton, or, well, or Hermes or Anthony, whatever, uh, where we can find these tokens. Then we have created two liquidity pools, one in Balancer and another one in Uniswap. This is really helpful also because now when we go to the exchanges, uh, then it's not okay. What, what, how, what is Hermes? What are you talking me about? I mean, it's one token that you created. No, I can say, okay, no, this is one token that is listed here. Mm -hmm. There is this demand. At least I have an anchor price, I have a, a reference price. Okay, mm -hmm. then uh, if our idea is that we will launch uh, end of November, mid of December. I mean, as I said, we are we are running a lot, but also. We, we have already finished the product, but what we are doing now is we are running audits, we are running tests. I mean, this is one a smart contract that, uh, as you can imagine, can have millions of, of assets in, inside. And one thing is that we were able to run and we were able to, to deliver a good product because we have the previous knowledge. But uh, also the truth is we don't want to fail. because And we don't want to fail because there is a hole or there is a bug 
that we are not able to detect. And mm -hmm. now we are taking the time to analyze. We are taking the time to test. We are we are here, as I say, to create this network in the long term. And we prefer to to spend one more month analyzing and and, and doing and performing all, all the tests that are required. And and if you are asking me, yes, the idea is to launch end of November, mid of December. And then also the idea is that before maybe two, three weeks before, we start to, to onboard people with wallets, mm -hmm. then people who want to already start to 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 import or to upload their assets, we are creating some kind of farming in order to incentivize this this translation and this movement to uh, yes, this move to, to the new level to the new new layer. And this is the current status. I mean and I think you are right that right now for me our our objective is to deliver a product. This is where we have the pressure because now okay, I cannot say that we are nothing because we are a lot of things, but yes, we need to face the real world. Mm -hmm. But also the tempo is quite good because then we can approach stakeholders from the community, from the exchanges, and we are creating these these synergies that I that we were waiting for. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And we're running out of time, Anthony, but yeah, you mentioned that you're looking for more community members and strategic partners. What's the best way for them to reach out and to join? Well, we, we have the, the Hermes Network channel in, in Telegram. We have hello.hermes.network. Uh, I mean, they, we, have, we can be approached by different channels. We are answering all, all the approaches that we have. And, and we are happy to, to try to create this, this community, exactly, and this network. Great. Well, I will leave those links in the description box below for the viewers as well. Thanks so much for the time and all the best moving forward with Hermes Network. And let's follow up in the near future. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks for your time.